Hi everyone, welcome to Silvarion's channel. So today we are going to talk about Siege Battle Chapter 7. As some of you maybe have an issue with this chapter, so I'm going to show you the deck and the strategy to clear this at 3 star. So the mechanic this time is Incapacitation Curse, which means that your unit will not be able to deal any damage as long as they are not healed up to full HP. So we'll need units that can heal up as well as make sure that you have full HP. So this is the team. We have healers like Colin and Soha to heal up your team. And we also have units that can do their own healing like Jin and Kamun. Or even further heal, they can grant the Blood Ring debuff to the enemy. So you can make sure that your entire team can live still and keep themselves at full HP. And then we'll have the Clan spell to help heal up your team as well. And to get rid of uh, Panas debuff together with Bikin. Yeah, so let me show you how I use this team uh, in Siege Battle Chapter 7. Okay, so we have Colleen here. We'll keep her for when the debuff comes down. So now we'll start with Feather Hill first to give uh, the Blood Ring to the opponent. So if the opponent died, the Blood Ring will get transferred to the next one, which is good. So everybody that hits the next opponent will be healed up to full. So as you can see, when the debuff comes down, you'll use Colleen to heal up to full. And when Pernas debuff comes, we can use Mikian to get rid of the debuff. Uh, we'll need to use her twice, but that's fine. And at the same time, you can also continually to use uh, Soha or Jin or Kamun to keep your unit at full HP so that the debuff will not uh, be effective. So like this, you can keep healing up the tank. And you can get rid of the Panas uh, debuff by using Cleanse and keep yourself at full HP again. And at the, in the meantime, you can continually to deal damage to the enemy, one by one like that. So now the debuff will come, and then you'll use Colin again to heal up to full, and get rid of all the debuff. Then for Panas debuff, you'll use Mikin to get rid of them. And then you'll use Soha to heal the team up again to full and get rid of all their debuff. So the combination of Colin and Soha most of the time will be able to heal uh, your entire team to full HP. If not, then you can top it up with uh, either Jin or Kamun and make sure that everybody is healed up to full. Yep. So once you are healed up to full, the debuff will be disappeared from your team. So that is very good. Okay, as you can see here, the debuff is on my team, so now I'll use Colin to heal up to full and get rid of all the debuff. Which is very good. Then you can just end the enemy with your damage dealer. And that should be all for this stage. Okay, so remember to keep topping up your uh, HP with healers like Colin and Soha. But also, uh, Use Jin and Kamun to top it up if your team still has not hit uh, full HP yet. As long as you manage to keep your team at full HP and get rid of all the debuff from Pana, you should be able to beat this stage uh, quite easily. So as a recap again, uh, remember to use Colleen and Soha to heal yourself to full. Uh, if it's still not enough, use Jin and Kamun to top it up. And then uh, get rid of all the debuff by using Mikian and the clan spell. Okay, so that's all for the video today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.